on The Cosby Show. She would probably smell like this. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Yes, you guys, yes, it is here, it is here, it is here. I cannot contain the smile. I am talking about one of my favorites and that is Chanel. Chanel recently came out with a fragrance called Perry Perry, and I absolutely could not wait to get my hands on it. As soon as it came out, my client advisor reached out to me and asked, hey Sheree, have you seen the new fragrance? Do you want to try it? I'm like, absolutely. So he immediately stuck one in the mail for me as well as the body cream that came with the fragrance as well. So I have played with them both. I have tried them both. And let's just say I have a full order on the way. So I am super excited about that. So here on this channel, I'm so excited. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. So if you like any of those things or all of those things, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't stop there. Tap the notification bell. It will alert you every single Time there is a new video placed on this channel and in case you want to connect a little bit further go ahead and follow me over on Instagram I'm gonna insert my Instagram handle somewhere right here so make sure you come over and say hi without further ado let's get into my first impression I would say because I don't own the bottle so I can't really say you know this that or I played with it for so many days you guys have played with it for two days and I absolutely knew after the first sniff. I loved it. This was a love at first sniff for me and I am just going to give you how it made me feel, where it transported me to, why I thought like you know what there's nothing else to decide. I want this and why I reached back out to my client advisor and told him go ahead and ring me up. I'll take it. This is a fragrance here that we are talking about. Like I said I only have this sample here and it's called Peri Peri. It is um, one of five in this particular collection here. My lights are so bright you're never going to see that. I'm going to pop a picture up here so that you're able to see that there. But you guys it is a beautiful pink purpley hage kind of grayish blue type of color it kind of gives you a romance vibe just by the color of the juice when I seen it here I have this little bit left that I was still playing with you can't see it I know the lights are bright but hopefully you were able to see it with the picture there um, as soon as I get the full-size bottle as well as the body cream I will definitely be back to give you more in-depth of a full detailed review but I can just tell you off the bat it is a beautiful fragrance immediately I just want to take you with me um, through my experience and journey of getting the fragrance unboxing it and then spraying it for the first time what it made me feel I brought it home opened it up took it out immediately I knew I didn't have any other fragrances on and I sprayed it on myself and I and I kid you not I kid you not you guys I always tell you I can only give to you what the fragrance gives to me follow me I'm going someplace here immediately when I sprayed this fragrance I kind of got teary eye a little bit and I don't know why it brought back a scent memory and it brought back a person or a scent that I have smelt before from someone who was very comforting. Someone who was in my life, I kind of thought it was like a teacher because my grandmother didn't smell like this. So I kind of thought it was like maybe a teacher. I was always a teacher's pet, so I was always close with my teachers. And I kind of thought maybe it was a teacher that kind of gave me this vibe. It was a very nice, uplifting, effervescent, bright, powdery, rose, beautiful type fragrance. And it just gave me, ah, oh, kind of vibes. You know what I mean? Um, let me give you a little bit of the notes so that you can follow and then we'll go from there. So in the notes in the fragrance, and it's a very simplistic uh, note breakdown. And the cre creator of this fragrance is Oliver Poge and it is a 2022 release, so I will say that. Uh, it is pink pepper, which it gets its spice, citrus and lemon. It has damask rose, it has patchouli, and it has a very sparkling effect to it in the beginning. And the thing about this fragrance, I just did a video, so I'm not gonna use this side, but I will use this side. Um, um, talking about the House of Siage, um, the Mother's Day giveaway. So shout out to all of you that joined me for that live today. It was really fun. I appreciate your support more than you know. And thank you to everyone for all your well wishes and leaving your testimonials on the House of Siage, uh, not the House of Siage, on the um, Sephora squad. Um, I'm claiming it, you guys. I'm claiming that we have it, okay? So if you have not left your testimonial for that, please take 2.5. I'll leave it in the description box. Tap it, go ahead and go over. And if I've ever made you feel any kind of way or made you want to buy something or made you, you know, just why you tune in and watch my video, share it with Sephora. Let them know why I'm the girl for the job. Anyway, so this is a fragrance here, you guys. I'm going to spray it just for... Oh, 
girl I'm gonna spray it here just for a fresh spray I've already have my dry down ready to go here and I've already played with it when you first immediately spray it you get like citrus vibes you get very fresh you get crisp you kind of get clean even but not really like a sticky kind of clean not a fresh clean like a light blue or anything like that but it's definitely a more of a crisp vibe it's very um effervescent it's very sparkly it's very fizzy it looks like oh my god it just came to me it looks like if the Eiffel Tower can have a fragrance, it would smell like this. Like very fizzy, very upbeat, all the lights that light up after it and it's doing this. That's how the initial smell of this fragrance smells. Like very, it smells like Paris. It smells like Paris. It smells like the Eiffel Tower, how it lights up at night if you've ever been there. That's how it smells. It's very pretty. It's very girly. It's very feminine. It's very romantic. It's very, and I just get very girly pretty girl vibes from it i get what would you wear this to sheree i would wear this to high tea at the peninsula at the wardolph astoria um i would wear this to brunch a very pretty like a girl's brunch i would wear this to a nice luncheon i would wear this to the white house if i was invited i'm just saying i'm just saying places i would wear it to you guys it's that kind of vibe it's very pretty it's very romantic i would wear it on a first date I would wear it on a very early date, like a four o'clock picnic kind of date. I would wear it on a kind of like romantic date. A first date, I was trying to, you know, give off that girly, feminine vibe. I would definitely wear it. It's not groundbreaking. In all honesty, you guys, I want to be honest with you. It's not groundbreaking. And I don't think that everyone is going to love this. Some people by the color of the juice and by maybe what you were expecting may even be overwhelmed. I mean underwhelmed, not overwhelmed, underwhelmed because they probably would have wanted a little bit more. But where I believe the fragrance was going was to try and transport you to a time and place. Um, maybe in Paris, that's why it's called Paris Paris, I'm thinking. And it's kind of like a dusk kind of fragrance. You know, like an early morning, like you're going down and someone's made like a tea, not coffee, like a tea. You're sitting out at one of the cafes, it's very early, you're not on your phone and you're, you know, sipping your morning green tea or mint tea or some type of tea and you're going to go up and get dressed and start your day. Maybe it's a Saturday or Sunday and you're going to meet with friends, you're going to go to brunch, you're going to put something very casual, chic, but very girly on. Maybe some ruffles, maybe some, you know, tassels in your hair maybe a dangling earring maybe a soft pink or a cream or a white or a beige you know me okay same colors are gonna apply you guys or a mint green or a fuchsia or a lavender or um something you know springish you know what I mean it's spring in a bottle you're gonna put something on like that maybe even a tiara or a nice hat or a, a scarf around your 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 head or something like that and you're gonna go out for the day but before you leave the house you're gonna grab a fragrance and it's gonna be Perry Perry. That's what I get initially from it right off the bat. Like I said, I've only had it for two days. I don't have a full bottle. I just have this sample here. And I absolutely love it. I am the type of gal that loves those type of romantic, you know, um, when Harry met Sally. I don't know if that's really a movie. My mom used to tell me about that. But yeah, type of movies. Um, you know, very girly. Um, I'm just trying to think of something very feminine, very girly. And today's modern time will probably be like, um, what is it? Like uh, Sex in the City, like Sarah Jessica Parker. Uh, her, her type of fragrance vibe, like um, Charlotte from Sex in the City. That's who I was trying to think of. Her type of fragrance vibe. You know how she was just very girly, very dainty, very Charlotte, you know what I mean? If I could say um, a TV cast member that probably would have rocked this fragrance, it probably would be her. Charlotte probably smells like this. So I hope that, you know, kind of conveys what it would um, smell like. Who else would a TV show would I say? Oh, this would be a good video idea. I'm trying to think of somebody else that I think would smell like this. I don't know. Her personality and character kind of totally fits this. Um, 
I could probably say, you know, Joan from Girlfriends was a hopeless romantic as well. She really loved love and wanted to be in love. She can probably rock this as well. I mean, it's definitely one of those girls, you know, that like to get dressed and, you know, do the do and do all the things and love all things love. That's what I get from it. I get love. I get upbeat. Like I said, romantic, happy, arrowvest, evervescent. You know, all of those type of words come to mind. I think I even wrote it down here. Yeah, it's a very everyday, easy reach scent. Um, it's definitely signature scent worthy. Shopping, early date, church, brunch, all the places that you would wear it to. I put from dusk to dawn. It can do that as well. In a, you know, very intimate um, type date setting. It's definitely a spring summer fragrance. Moderate when it came to longevity. I did have it last a little bit longer when I layered it with the lotion. I'm going to share that with you next. It did stay on about six and a half, seven hours. It's a beautiful scent. Um, will you have it on? Is it beast mode? Is it going to say 8 to 12 hours? I didn't experience that. If you want to have it all day, I would probably say take the hand cream with you or take a little decant and reapply it, such as this here. You can definitely do that. And here's what the hand cream looks like. The hand cream from Chanel is always good. He just made me a sample here and it says Peri Peri. And so I'm going to just show you the consistency of it. So this is it here. Hopefully you can see that. And then I'll go ahead and dip my hands in there. Oh, I'm going to smell so good. Look at the consistency of that. Can you see this? I'm just going to put it on my hands here. Let me grab a little more. It's kind of wet like, you know what I mean? It's not, um, it's not, um, what is it? It's not like sticky. It's more like, a. It's like rubbing fragrance on your body that's been made into a form of a lotion and it smells so good. It's a body crops. You know, I love to say that. It's a body crops. And so it just leaves you like that. I was pretty hydrated already, but that is what it leaves you like. So you would go ahead and put your uh, lotion on here. You see, I put the fragrance on before and then we added the lotion. So you can put the fragrance on, add the lotion, and then you can put fragrance again on top of it and just spray it here, just like that. And um, yeah, and that's it there. I absolutely love it. So it's not gonna leave you like um, some of our, you know, like Fenty, it's not that kind of a lotion. It's not like So De Janeiro, it's not that kind of lotion. If you've ever had like a body crops from Chanel, more of a um, milkier, watery type base, type of fragrance, I mean, type of lotion, that's what it's giving. I don't want this to fall out, but um, I will definitely be back to do a full in-depth detailed review. But I mean, it pretty much is what it is. This is my review. I loved it that much that I went ahead and ordered it because I want it in my collection. I am just this type of girl. I love dainty fragrances. So if someone would say, well, Sheree, what type of vibe would it give you? It doesn't smell anything like this, but it would probably give me vibes of um, the one that I recently picked up here from Dior, uh, Rose and Roses. It doesn't smell like that. That's just the vibe it gives me. Mon Paris, um, the vibe it gives me. Um, kind of, but not really. Gives me the vibe of uh, Chanel Chance, Otandra, the pink one. It gives you that kind of vibe. It's just very pretty, very romantic, very upbeat. Like I said, effervescent, fizzy. Think of a beautiful glass of rose champagne and all the fizzy bubbles to the top. And think of like a nice rose petal inside. Um, and not a rose that's very sharp, but more of a powdery, dusty, old world rolls but it's not an old fragrance um i don't think it's a very um it's not that girl you know what i mean it's not that so i know we talk about that a lot and i know everybody interpretates it different but i explained in a few videos what that is you know how right now it's the it girl it's the happening girl it's the happening spot it's the new new it's the what's good it's, it's not that it's not that at all and it's not that girl. It's very classy. It's very sophisticated. It's very elegant. It's very graceful. It's timeless. Um, it's chic. It's kind of even, you know, flirtatious, but in a very romantic way. It's not sexy. It's not Tom Ford. It's not dark, heavy. It's not come hither. It's not stay the night. It's not, um, what are you doing tomorrow? Because I'm not letting you go. It's not one of those. It's not one of those. But it's definitely, um... Oh my God, Jeff's going to pick me up. I don't know who Jeff is, you guys. Go with the story. Jeff's going to pick me up tomorrow and I want to have a cute bag ready and I'm going to wear this cute little spring sundress. Sundress. 
and um, I'm gonna carry my pink Chanel bag, you know what I mean? And let me spritz some fragrance on. It's one of those, you know what I mean? It's definitely like a, oh my God, um, it's a graduation and I just wanna stand out with the crowd, but I don't wanna do too much, but I definitely wanna smell amazing when I go in for the hug, so I'm gonna spritz this on. You know what I mean? So it's an easy reach to grab for any of those type of occasions. Graduation season is coming up. Age, are you age defying this? I don't age defying fragrances, I mean, I've been wearing Chanel since I or loving Chanel since I was ever able to even recall what it smelled like it just smelled rich to me it smelled like money it smelled like class it smelled like sophistication and I knew she wanted it to be all those things so I was like spray me up spray it all over my body I want to be that girl I want to be that woman I want to oud class and that's what this fragrance does sophistication class elegance grace in a bottle definitely Chanel DNA it is even kind of powdery not a whole lot I want to make sure I'm still in focus not a whole lot but it definitely gives off a powdery kind of vibe from the damask rose but not overly um, and I know some of you are asking or thinking hey Shrey is it an old rose it's not an old rose but it's not a sharp rose it's not like a wet rose so it's not like a a la rose by Maison Francis Kirkjohn and it's not a rose that's in it is a rose that you know uh, that would be in Delina but not really it doesn't have anything like Delina at all nothing like Delina at all doesn't have any of the reminisce of Gucci bloom I'm thinking of the real rose fragrances that I have and I don't get that vibe I don't believe in all honesty I could be missing something here it doesn't have any of the it doesn't give anything resemblance of anything that I have in my collection and that's why I was like oh yes we have a place for this because there's a void when it comes to this and it just made me feel like I remembered someone. I remembered a time and place. It's like this fragrance took me back and transported me to a time and a place and a person, but I can't recall who. But I've been there before. They were very nice to me and they were very comforting. And I can only think it was one of my teachers. Like I said, teacher's pet over here. So I kind of think it was one of my teachers. That doesn't mean it's old. It just means that my teachers were classy. I've always been drawn to women who were very classy, who were very elegant, who just carried themselves like women, who were like, bosses but like you know Claire Huxtable on the Cosby show she would probably smell like this Claire Huxtable on the Cosby show would probably smell like this you know what I mean just a real class act woman is what I get from it you guys I could talk about Chanel and fragrances all day okay all day I love it I absolutely love it so that is my first impression on Perry Perry like I said there is I believe five or now there's six in the collection i don't own any of them i don't believe no i do ha do i own venice Vini, or battery don't get me to speak in french okay i do not know it um remember edinburgh had came out last year it seems like they release one every other year every two years i don't know what happened in 2020 so i could be behind but yeah so on um, that one i didn't love but it was okay but this one here i really like and when i went to paris it was one of the most magical trips that i have ever taken in my entire life if you follow me here on instagram or youtube you would have already seen that if not you can go back and find that video they're definitely on the channel i went to the eiffel tower i went to the top and the sparkly lights and you know it was paris and it was beautiful and this is what it would smell like i stayed at the Plaza Athene. Look up that hotel after this, Plaza Athene. That's what this fragrance gives me. That very pretty, whimsical, upbeat, uplifted type of vibe. This is something that if you were having not so good of a day and you sprayed this, it would make me feel better. That's, I can't say you, but it would make me feel better because I love these type of fragrances. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time. I'm just gonna spray it again. Um, to stop by my channel, you just got that first step first initial spray is not what it dries down like um oh my gosh no this side it's so good though but it smells like it smells like someplace I'm gonna come back when I figure out what it smells like but it definitely gives me reminisce of something and I absolutely love the memory so oh, until next time guys thank you for joining me if you I can't even talk I'm so mesmerized by the fragrance if you've enjoyed the video and you enjoy fragrance videos luxury lifestyle vlogs go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by if you want to connect even further make sure you come over and follow me on instagram and i will see you beautiful souls in the next one until next time you know the drill be blessed stay fit 
and definitely stay fabulous, darling. Thanks so much for watching. Quick 2.5, shout out to MJ, who is my client advisor. He is the absolute best. He's all things beauty when it comes to Chanel. Fragrances, makeup, everything, you guys. I'm gonna link his information in the description box below. So if you need a new client advisor, all of his information will be down below. He is absolutely amazing. Customer service is on parallel to none. It is top-notch chef's kiss. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!